G'day here, Matt from BN, uh, or some of you will know me from some of the Trapcraft videos. I'll be uh, the guy who's got Mr. Matt said above his head who keeps having tricks played, and hopefully I won't fall for any more of them, but uh, I guess we'll see how we go there. Uh, pretty much just going to show you how to make some remote double doors in Minecraft, or at least the current version of it, unless something gets fixed. Um, and it's not actually as easy as you might think. Give an example. I've got this one here, nice and simple, just some redstone going to each door. And you think, oh yeah, that looks fine, that'll work. Well, let's give it a try. And you'll find one of, only one of them will open. And then if you turn it off, only one of them, well, one of them closes and another one opens. So it gives you this endless problem where there's pretty much no way around it in this configuration. Uh, I mean, you can even shut the door and think, oh, that'll fix it. Nope, still nothing. Uh, and as far as I can work out, it's as simple as some sort of glitch with redstone that makes one door get an open signal while another one gets a closed signal. Because it, it's, it's not a, just a matter of, oh, do the opposite of what you're doing. Because if you manually close it, then it still only opens one. So, not sure what, what's causing that, but in any case. Uh, now, what I'm going to show you is something I've put together, which is pretty much what solves the problem. You get a uh, redstone torch, pop it in over here, so that is actually already activated, and then you just have the lever connected to the block that has the redstone torch, and then you just go back around to the other door. Sheep, get, it, get out of the way. Get, get out of the way, sheep. Go away. You're not helping anybody. Alright, then you try it out, there you go. Now admittedly there is a very slight delay, but there is actually a functioning door for you. Nice and simple. This can be utilized in a number of ways, uh, one of which I'm about to show you as well, uh, which pretty much will be how to set up one lever to activate numerous doors of this at once, which is once again harder than it sounds, but uh, hold on. Alright guys, so now we've got four doors set up, nothing too fancy, just lever which is going to control the left doors, then it goes up here to the same redstone block configuration, but we're going to route it to the other doors. Now, the reason I've done it like this here, so that you're actually going to be able to hide the red, what, well, the redstone on top of it, and however you hide it below is really up to your own preference. But uh, that'll be how it'll look. And you might ask why I've done two blocks in between each door. Well, simple reason. Pretty much, if you have one block, then it actually conflicts, so you'll get a signal from the top and below, and the doors will start opening and closing in this, uh, the door, like one will open, one will close again. So, that's why you have to do it this way, or it just doesn't really work. So, we'll start off like this. Alright, didn't do that right. So all the left doors will be red wired. And also to make sure that they actually work, we'll get some relays going. And these do have the option of delaying if you wanted to do that as well, but in this case, we don't. Go away. Continue not helping anyone. Go, go, go under the water. Get, get out. Alright. So, head up here. Get a bit more redstone in. Geez, you are persistent. Um, Oh wait, actually they need to go one further, don't they? Okay. So now, 
they will be controlling the other doors while this controls these. So now, turn it on. Bang! All of them open. Once again, with a slight delay. However, there is your functioning door. So experiment with this information as you will, and I hope this is helpful. Until right, next time, catch you later.